fantasy. Hi, my name is Lisa Solomon. Um, I'm a mixed media artist. I currently live in Oakland, California. Um, I was born in Arizona, but I've pretty much lived in California my whole life. So I lived in Southern California for a while, and then I came up to the Bay Area to go to college. So I went to UC Berkeley um, to get my undergrad degree, and then I went to Mills College to get my graduate degree, and I've just been here ever since. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five pieces in the show. Um, they're all from a body of work that I call domestic scenes or domestic interiors. Um, basically, they sparked from a series that I did um, called Drawing a Day. So I did these drawings every day for a year, uh, five days a week. And one of the things that I started to explore in those drawings were beds and chairs um, and interior spaces. Um, because I was drawing a lot of doilies and a lot of the books that I had that had doily patterns in them had also pictures of chairs and beds and places where the doilies ended up. All these pieces are uh, made on a specific vellum. It's a double-sided drafting film called Duralar, which has become sort of one of my favorite mediums to work on um, because I can use the front and the back of the piece. Part of what I like is sort of the interaction um, and the way, the ability to be able to create depth using this type of paper. So I can draw on the front, I can draw on the back. And um, when I stitch, you can see through to both sides. So that also creates a depth. So instead of focusing on people, I tend to focus on objects or things that can kind of represent people. So in these drawings, the beds or chairs actually represent some people that I know or sort of human situations or interactions that I've been thinking about. So like specifically the Nocturna piece, the really large piece, um, I finished that piece when I was pregnant and that's all about me getting pregnant and having a child. Um, which I don't think you need to know in order to look at the piece, but that's really what it was about for me. So the green and the green bed represents me and the brown and the gray um, doilies in bed represent my husband and then the pink um, bed represents my child. Um, and so you'll notice that in the piece, the green and the brown bed have covers on them, have um, coverlets, but the pink bed doesn't have anything because she was an unknown entity. I didn't know what she was going to be like. So that's sort of how I use the imagery to talk about people or um, interaction. The dangling thread sort of allows me to leave something to chance and allows to show the idea of process. Um, and it's something I can't totally control. Um, and I like that. I sort of like the potential whimsy and potential movement. Um, I like the three-dimensionality of it. Um, I like, because I really like, there's sort of this weird space between two dimensions and three dimensions that I'm really fascinated with. Um, and so I'm trying to explore that in the drawings a lot, and the thread helps to do that. I am half Japanese and half Jewish Caucasian. <laughs> so um, I always kind of grew up in a mixed cultural background and I've always sort of felt in between um, places and spaces. Sometimes there's kind of a cute aspect to some of what I do and I play a lot with the idea of like beautiful, not beautiful, um, ugly, cute. And I think the threads actually do that too because the threads can be attractive or they can be unattractive. Um, and I think that's got sort of some Japanese stuff to it. But then I'm not totally Japanese. <laughs> So there's like uh, definitely, you know, uh, U.S. or world global sort of contemporary art culture that seeps into the work. Uh, let's see what's next for me. I'm going back to teaching in the fall, so I'll be teaching beginning painting at San Francisco State, um, which will be fun. I haven't taught a painting class in a while. I have a solo installation at a place called Angel's Gate in San Pedro um, in Southern California. Probably just trying to find as much time as I can to spend in the studio and balance my life and manage to not get enough sleep and have friends and not fall down. To say when he's asked what he done in the past to someone that he loved endlessly. She's gone, so is he. I went to war every morning. I lost my.